Before we move on though, I finally got contacts. Yay! I'm so excited! In a lot of my videos, I've been pointing out the importance of ingredients. Some of the unhealthy ingredients that I listed before were canola oil, vegetable oil, soybean oil, etc. Now, I think you may be wondering what exactly is wrong with vegetable or soybean oil? Isn't it better than just like plain old fat butter? Well, in this video, I'll be explaining to you why these oils are unhealthy, um, what healthy oils actually contain, some examples of healthy oils, and some examples of snacks that contain these types of healthy oils. Let me just start off by listing some bad oils. These are vegetable oil, canola oil, sunflower oil, grapeseed oil, soybean oil, corn oil, safflower oil, and palm oil. These oils are often used because they are cheap and they have a neutral flavor which is good for cooking. However, these are often highly refined. To make these oils, the oil seeds are treated with a chemical called hexane to squeeze every drop of oil out of the oil seeds. Then the oil undergoes extremely high temperature and pressure to get rid of the hexane. However, it has been proven that the hexane is not completely removed during this process. When consumed, this toxic chemical can lead to reduced function of the nervous system and muscular weakness. In addition, when the oil is treated with extreme temperature and pressure, the healthy polyunsaturated fat that was originally in the oil is turned into trans fat. And trans fat piles up in your body and can lead to heart disease and higher levels of cholesterol. Furthermore, the corn and soy that is used in oil is often genetically modified so that they are virtually resistant to all types of herbicide and pesticide pest Pe pesticide that is poured onto them. Now imagine that you're ingesting all of these toxic chemicals with the oil that you're cooking with. That's just no. Now I know you may be thinking if all of these oils are bad for me, then what is there for me to eat and cook with? Now I just want to point out that the all the oils that I listed before can be healthy if they have one magic word on them, and that is expeller pressed. Expeller pressed oils are made naturally by um, squeezing out the oil through continuous pressure, thus the oils do not contain any hexane and are not highly refined. This is also similar to the cold extracted label that you might see in olive oil, which means that the oil has not been treated under high temperature so that the flavor of the oil is still fragrant. Another thing you want to look for is non-GMO. This means that the plants were not genetically modified so that they won't be bulldozed with insecticides or herbicides or pesticides. However, it is it's important to know that non-GMO oil can still be treated with hexane for the oil extraction process, so make sure to check that the oil is expeller pressed. With this information, we're going to put it into practice by reviewing some of the oils that I have in my house right now. So we'll start off with this non-stick canola oil. And although it is propellant free, it does not say that it is expeller pressed. So then you can just assume that it was treated with hexane and under extreme heat and temperature. So that's a no-no. Right here we have a good good and gather organic coconut oil that was expeller pressed and it's non-GMO, so that means it wasn't genetically modified. So this is good. Right here we have from Costco organic extra virgin olive oil that was cold extracted and cold extracted means it wasn't treated under high temperature so it doesn't have hex hexane and it's not highly refined so this is good too. The last oil is one that is used in a lot of Asian dishes and that is sesame oil and I'm sure every Korean family has a bottle of otugi sesame oil in their pantry right now. However, that oil is not expeller pressed. So instead, our family uses 100% um, pure sesame oil that is expeller pressed and we found this from Costco. I know that the oils that are expeller pressed are much more expensive than the oils that we would regularly use. However, it is important to remember that the reason why these oils are cheap is because they have been treated with hexane to squeeze every drop of oil out of the oil seeds. So at this point, it's up to you to decide whether you want to spend um, this much money on oil for your health. 
So personally, our family does use cheaper oils when we're deep frying because it can get pretty expensive. However, for other cooking purposes, like just pan frying, we always try to use expeller pressed or cold extracted oils. Now I'm going to introduce some snacks that contain expeller pressed oils. In the healthy snacks video that I posted recently, which I'll link in the description box below, please make sure to check that out. Um, I introduced a chip brand called Siete, and it's a brand that creates products that are vegan, gluten-free, and non-GMO, and they use avocado oil for their chips. And although it doesn't say in the ingredients list that the avocado oil is expeller pressed, you can also look into their website website to see if it is expeller press, which it is, so Siete is always a good and healthy option. The next snack that I want to introduce is Himalayan pink salt from the brand Lesser Evil, and it only has three ingredients, which are organic popcorn, extra virgin coconut oil, and Himalayan pink salt. Extra virgin means that the oil was not refined, so that is a big plus. Right here, I have um, veggie chips from Trader Joe's and veggie straws and in both of these products they have expeller press canola oil safflower oil and sunflower oil so um although it's better to have 100 percent pure oil instead of a mix of different oils it's still expel ex exp expeller press so that is okay that's it for this video thank you for sticking with me until the end <laughs> Although it is probably impossible to always eat healthy oils, the least we can do is limit the amount of unhealthy oils we eat so that we can live a healthier life. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and comment down below for other food topics that I should cover next. Bye! Bye!